Now, the academic and non-academic staff of College of Education defiled the rain in Benin City and besieged the State Ministry of Education, demanding unpaid salary arrears. The protesters accused the state government of lying to the public and not coming out with the true situation of events in the college. The chairman and leader of the protesters, Fred Omonua, says their protest is legitimate and an attempt by the state government to downplay their demand is unacceptable. Omonua says that the state government has embarked on a smear campaign in order to discredit their demands. And does the government equally claim to the Commissioner for Education and the PDP spokesman, one Mr. Chris Negari, that the staff of the college were deployed to other colleges and establishments, but refused to go. This claim is not only free for us, but again refused the third attempt by those the government to deny the staff and pensioners of the college their salaries and pensions. Is it possible, ladies and gentlemen, for a state government to deploy a staff? The staff refused, and there would, be, there would not be any sanction method of that staff. Is it possible for a state government to embark on the purported deployment without a formal letter? There are no letters to be as we are aware of. When the pensioners who are part and parcel of this protest also redeploy, and also the government in this initial response to the legitimate demand of the protesters to the Commissioner for Education and Mr. Governor himself, in a Zoom meeting he had with uh, our brothers and sisters in the diaspora, claimed that the institution has been closed since 2016 as a mission to NCE program was stopped that year. This is not true. Because at the time admission was stopped in 2016, there were year one, year two, and year three students.